I'm Natasha Tiley and I'm the curator at Metro Gallery. Baltimore is a terrific city for artists because it's small in that we basically all live within you know, a few blocks of each other, a bunch of artists and musicians, so we can all collaborate pretty, pretty easily. Also with this weird sort of grimy element to it, it sort of enhances the, the wildness, I guess, of the art or the music. It really like influences the boldness or like the approach that everyone has, it's like nothing can't be done, kind of. Everyone is like ready to experiment. So it's definitely like an experimental city in that way. I came to Baltimore from Kansas City. Um, I went to art school there and then I came here for graduate school and went to MICA. What interests me about doing large scale paintings is architecture um, and the body. So most of my work is always larger than the body, like I'm interested in work that is larger than your arm span or taller than your height. Um, and it's just overwhelming for the viewer. And then I'm really interested in spaces, especially like this space, um, and how I can make my work interact with the architecture. So what's been going on in Station North is really exciting because what's happening there is you have these big loft spaces and industrial spaces and you have a load of fun and metro gallery and wind up space and a hexagon are all these laboratories where people can do interesting things. And that young group of artists has a locus there. And then what's fun about Highland Town is then you have another equally vibrant but different kind of arts district where instead of being in that kind of industrial, commercial, urban environment, you're in a working class residential environment. And so the work going on here is happening in row houses and libraries and here at the Patterson and the studios here at the Patterson. The Creative Alliance's home is the Patterson Theater in Highland Town, Maryland. We love being here because we're all about helping artists work in a particular place. And Highland Town, our diverse blue collar neighborhood, offers us huge opportunities to explore our cultures from all over the world and gives our artists and our audiences a chance to have a really authentic experience with a wide variety of people here in Baltimore. Like today, we had Latino families from all over Highland Town making paper flowers, which is a Mexican tradition. Urban Appalachia, the show that's about to close, looked at the challenges of the working class in Appalachia moving to the urban centers. We commissioned a young artist named Chris Stain, a graffiti artist originally, and his monumental stencil paintings really looked at the images from social realism from the Works Project Administration era when there were a lot of artists looking at you know, what does it mean to have no work in the mountains and to go into the city and see signs that said, you know, no hillbillies need apply. So the tradition in Baltimore has been in a town with limited resources, we create our own resources. So the, the Patterson was artist created. The Bromo Seltzer Tower was driven by artists creating space that they need. So what happens is artists are in these spaces, they're not paying a fortune, and they're getting to know each other. It creates an environment where people can create really fresh work, and that's given it a huge creative vitality because we'll tolerate or even embrace just this huge range of work. And to this day, you will see stuff that, whether it is hugely accessible, like American Visionary's kinetic sculpture race, it still has people working in it with their toes in the avant-garde. And it's got a ton of fabulous art schools here. Maryland Institute College of Art, the oldest art school in the country, amazing school. And there's tons of other universities here. Honesty and authenticity is at the core of so much of the work that we produce here. And if people are out there that want to get involved, they should just come here to Baltimore and they should come soon because we are in just a really magic, magic time. And I would hate for anybody that wanted to be part of that experience to miss it just because they didn't know about it. So I hope they know about it and I hope they come.